Hello, Shining Ones. Magus here on a beautiful day in Asha. If you're brand new to the channel, we're Zoroastrians. We are the Magi. And today I want to talk about Still Pools of the Mind. This little book, there's so much to it. Matter of fact, you can see Asha uh, in it, obviously. Look at the back cover. It says, I am God's thought. I live in God's idea. Perfection. That's Asha 1 right there. And this was written before Asha was written. And there's quite a story behind this. I'll share one day with you guys. But, you know, 90% of the people that come to this channel are brand new people. And they don't want to hear me ramble on about my stories. Um, but what I will tell you before, I'm going to read a little bit of this to you. And I hope it's life-changing, awakening, as it was for me and many of you. For those just coming along this that are maybe looking for some peace of mind have some questions you want answered uh what, what brought this on it's funny you know uh our book asha come we just put it back into print on august 8th and so i went online to check when my book's going to be here it won't be here till the 28th i'm not a patient person like that i'm so anxious for it to come and then i started thinking about <coughs> other books that are in print and out of print from BFA books. And uh, I started thinking of this little guy right here because it, it meant so much to me. Uh, you know, this is, what, maybe 11, 12 years old. Um, I didn't know it was out of print. And uh, I, I started thinking about Asha for a time was out of print. But, but I noticed that people were paying to get used copies up to $100 for Asha, and I said, oh, that's not right. You know, I, I, I got to get this back out. And so now you can get it for $3.80 on Amazon, this life-changing book. And so then it got me thinking about Still Pulse. So I looked up Still Pulse. It's out of print. Guess how much it sells for on Amazon? $96. I was like, oh, my God. So do you know what I'm going to do? I, I'm going to read some of this so you don't have to pay $100 uh, for a book. Will this go back in print? I don't know. If there's enough demand, it, it does. If there's not, it won't. Um, but uh, can I share something with you guys? Like, I don't want to lose the new people, but I also want to talk to my wonderful friends that are here, the Magi. Um, so I'll make it quick. But so you remember 2012, right? It was like that spiritual awakening took place. Then this was written right around that 2013. Maybe this came out. And... Uh, then I had the idea because I live up here and you've seen my place here. It's in the middle of the mountains, got hundreds of acres, lake, just peaceful, beautiful. And I wanted to know, will this work amongst a bunch of people, right? Can you have a still pools of the mind and peace? Can you create that atmosphere in you and then take it into other places and create that peace? I found out, yes, you can. Well, I, I bought a a trailer, an RV to pull behind my truck. And I headed off all the way across the United States to Florida and, uh, and spent, uh, oh, I don't know how long it was, maybe four months. And I, uh, matter of fact, let me show you this. I dug this up when I was reminiscing. There's me on a wave in Florida right there. Some of my surf buddies snapped that right there. Oh, good memories. And, um, and so I started seeing, can I stay in that peaceful place? Can I share that peaceful place? And, you know, I was just talking to my daughter yesterday on the phone, and she said, you know, so-and-so was asking about you. She goes, I, all the time I get people that knew you 10 years ago asking about you. Uh, they absolutely loved you. My friends, that's Asha, okay? Because the person I was before that, no one would have been missing. No one would have been loving. They'd be glad. I'm glad he's out of our state, right? Asha, that Holy Spirit, that spirit of love and light, it transformed me. And I brought peace wherever I went. And then, of course, I shared that story with you. One of my surf buddies had OCD since he was a child, lost everything. Before I left Florida, he was completely healed by Asha. He had still pulls of the mind. It's contagious, Guys, uh, our peace, our truth, because truth dispels the lie. So beautiful. Uh, one day I'll go into more detail on that. So can, 
Can I read a little bit of this to you? Uh, there's so many great chapters that I didn't even know where to start. Um, I, if it was up to me, I'd read the whole book to you. Um, but I've discovered people won't stay uh, on a YouTube video for that long to read a whole book. So I, I think the one I want to start with, because this one reminds me of Cole. It's chapter seven, Who Are You? And our wonderful friend Cole, his YouTube channel is all about that question. Who are you really, right? Your, your true self, not the ego, not, not maybe uh, something you create uh, to fend off the world, or you're embarrassed to show the world your true self. Who are you really? And I, I think this answers it pretty well. Will you stay with me while I read this chapter? And then I wish I could talk to you guys if, and know if you're enjoying it, want more, uh, I'll read more. Well, I'll just try to feel it out. It says, chapter seven, who are you? Think about it. Do you know? You may answer by your name. That is just a name. Many people probably have the same name. Maybe you answer by your job. That's just a way to earn money. Jobs change. And what about when you retire? Maybe you say, I'm a mother or a Christian. Your children will grow and leave the house and Christian is your religion. People often associate themselves with their actions or thoughts, but actions and thoughts change all the time. Who are you? Where did you come from? Why are you here? Where do you go? These are the deeper spiritual questions of life that one must answer. Maybe you think you are your body or brain. You will be a completely different body in a few years, every cell replaced. Look at baby pictures of yourself. Then look at yourself now. You're a totally new body. Your form is always changing, but the same aware self I will still be there. There are very few people in the world who know who they are. They are the awake ones. For this next exercise, go somewhere public. A park bench or the beach. I love the beach, so I'll use that example. Just sit and watch. Don't think. Remember the 60,000 thoughts a day. So in the previous chapter, we talked about how we have up to 60,000 thoughts a day, all vying for attention, many of them negative. And we did some breathing exercises to take back control of our thoughts. So it makes me want to read the whole book, but I'll, I'll catch you up. Uh, don't think, remember the 60,000 thoughts a day. If a dog walks by, don't label it in your mind as dog. Just watch it go by. When people walk by, don't start wondering about them, what you think about them, or wonder if they're thinking something about you. We're not going to lose ourselves in thought. We are just going to be in the present, in the now. Look at the ocean. Watch the light dance on the water. And just be in the now, experiencing what you see and feel. Watch the boat go by with its beautiful white sails, in contrast to the dark blue sea. Watch the birds as they fly overhead. Feel the peace and beauty around you. Don't you feel alive? Now realize who is observing these things. Feel and sense that I. Now I want you to think about yesterday. Think about the couch or chair you sit in every night. Close your eyes and visualize it. See your room, where the television is, pictures on the wall, objects on tables. We can make it so real in our mind, but try to touch it. You can't, for it is only in the mind. Now think about tomorrow. If you'll be at work or wherever, who will you see there? Picture them. Picture the room you'll be standing in. And now try and touch that person. You cannot. It is only in mind. Are you back at the beach or wherever you did this exercise? This is real. This is now. Did you bring a loved one with you? Look at them in the eyes. Feel them. You can love them and be loved. That is a gift of being aware and in the present, not lost in thinking. So why do we stay locked away in a prison in our own minds? When our loved one is sitting next to us, we are in thoughts about work and tomorrow with people who aren't even there. We spend our beautiful day at the beach making plans for the next thing in our mind. 
Is the next thing that much better than this day? And will you spend that next day not present, lost in your mind about the next thing? Awaken yourself. Live in the present. How much is lost, trapped in the habit of chasing every thought? A whole precious day can be forfeited by losing yourself in thought. Look at the overweight man sitting on the bench. He's there, but he's not there. He's lost in thought. What do people think of me? I heard a laugh. It must be about me. I can't believe how horrible people are. Reminds me of school. And then he thinks about memories from school for an hour. A whole day wasted. Or the beautiful girl walking by who can't see the beauty and possibilities all around her because she's so worried about her hair and makeup and clothes with absolutely no idea of who she is. This little outer ego is all she knows. Then someone walks by head down, just sleepwalking, lost in their negative thoughts and worries. No one alive, just bodies with no present soul. Then you look out and you see an awake one. You recognize him because you are awake and it resonates. A man on a sailboat trimming his sails, feeling the sun on his back, the salt spray on his face, awake, alive in the now. The inner eye sensing all the magic of life firing around him. You are that, that you are that I that doesn't change and is timeless. It is events and circumstances changing, people coming and going. You are always the I observing in the now. So we come back to our question, who are you? Have you been thinking about it? It is not always easy to put spiritual ideas into worldly language. It could be said like this, I am conscious energy from God vibrating in a form. I like that. I am conscious energy from God vibrating in form, which brings to life that mystic saying, for in him we live, move, and have our being. You are presence not a thing. You are a spirit, breath of his breath, spirit of his spirit. You might think that sounds better than how you picture yourself to be. You might think of things you've done in the past, how you've hurt others. Well, that was not the I. That was actions done from the wrong subconscious prompters. And here's a little quote from Carl Jung says, the thought we shall think the deed we shall do, even the fate we shall lament tomorrow, all lie unconscious in our today. Now as you are living your life in the present with your conscious and subconscious in harmony, you are planting new seeds and there will be new life. Your life and actions will begin to match with who you really are. And you are conscious energy from God vibrating in a form. Why are you here? To know truth, the real above all real. Are you for my Asha Vons? That's right out of Asha. And I haven't read this for so long, and I'm seeing how Asha was coming together. All these ancient writings of the Magi is us putting it into still pools and then how it came into Asha. So beautiful. Can I read that again? To know truth. Why are you here? To know truth. What is to know when the Magi text was written? It's the two become one. A man would know his wife to be truth. Why are you here? To know truth, to be truth, to be Asha, the real above all that seems real. To know God and to live this adventure on this plane it is absolutely amazing when you know who God is and who you are, an awakened one. And of course, that's what the Magi do. We restore God's image. So you know God, you, you become one with that God. You be God, you be good, you be that truth. I love this. Here's another quote. 
That's why I love this book so much. That's from Meister Eckert. Listen to this. God, why are you making so many stars and souls with no end in sight? Because nothing can interrupt God when he is enjoying himself creating. Meister Eckert. Where are you, where are you going? Your spirit energy will go to another plane. It happens to be the next chapter, if I remember right. Planes. Where are you going? Your spirit energy will go to another plane. You are already reunited with God. If you are born again, a new creature, God is in you and you are in God. You don't have to wait for that heavenly plane to live in the blessings of God. Christ gave us back dominion over our world. You awaken every promise by belief. Nothing is impossible for you. Do not set limits. Reach for the highest principle you can, the highest good you can imagine. Believe you are God's thought, living in God's idea, perfection. And then that takes us to chapter 8, Planes. And then if I remember right, the chapter before was really good. I think it was called Energy. Yeah, chapter 6 is Energy. So here's what I'm, I'm going to end that here. Uh, if you want me to keep reading these chapters, go to the comments and tell me, and I will. But I have a special place in my heart for this little book right here, Still Pools of the Mind. I love, love, love you.